Okay, so which one do you guys prefer? Tractor with the pusher or gator with the V-plow? I was warm and toasty either way, but leave a comment down below. Guys, how you doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Can you believe they canceled school for this? At the risk of sounding like my dad or my grandpa, back in my day, this didn't even warrant a winter weather advisory, but now it's a winter storm warning. But you know what? A little snow is a good excuse to get out and play with the grown-up toys, so we're gonna start here in the neighborhood, tackle a few driveways, with the gator and then head on over to my shop and clear the lot with my 4066R. Hey, but I'm still getting used to this fancy six-way plow here, so cut me a little slack. I'm trying to fine tune those controls. I'm getting better, but I'm not quite there yet. Oh, and do me a favor, hit that like button right down below, subscribe if you want to see more cool tractor and maybe gator videos too, and read through the description right down underneath the video. All sorts of cool stuff for tractor owners. Now let's get plowing. See if I go forward without uh, first pushing the snow, I just can't get the right amount of down pressure to really scrape down to the ground. So you can see right there how much snow is left. Let me just do another pass here right next to it. I'm gonna push forward and then I'll pull back. So I'll put it down when we get up here. Keep in mind, my driveway is tough, a lot of angles. A lot of pulling, not pushing snow. I'm gonna go over top and drop down. Grab as much as I can. Oh, I left quite a pile there. But you can see how it does straight a lot better that way. I could uh, also use some more ballast weight in the back, there's no doubt about it. I think I know a guy though. Get some of that battle play. There's the plow dog right there. I see ya.
possibly the most annoying driveway ever created. It's got a lot of different compound angles. There's huge landing up top where you can't push snow anywhere. You gotta drive over all sorts of sections of the snow and packing it down. I will say, with my tractor with a back drag, I can get really good down pressure and make a lot quicker work. Who knows? Maybe I'll get better at it with the, uh, the gator. Driveway side by side here in the neighborhood. My driveway may be the hardest one in the whole neighborhood. Now we're going to tackle what I think might be the easiest. You just push everything forward, just keep on pushing right into his backyard. It's a piece of cake. Here we go. kind of hot in here you know it's so cozy and comfy but uh, we're halfway through the neighborhood now got a couple more we're gonna knock out um, new neighbor over here you know I actually sold my x739 that you see on the channel sometimes uh, to this neighbor here but we just haven't got his plow set up yet he's he's not familiar with how to do it I said I would help him get it set up it's February I haven't done it yet so I'm uh, I'm plowing it out of a little bit of guilt but also I just love to do it So here I think I'm going to plow about halfway down maybe, just enough so I can get back up over top of it with enough room to get some momentum.
got a question for you guys though. I hate when I see other folks doing this commercially, but you know, the easiest thing for me to do right now is take the snow from this driveway, push it straight across into the neighbors across the road. However, this snow is not their problem. So I've had snow plow guys across the road do that into my yard. I just don't really appreciate it. I think if maybe they asked and got permission ahead of time, however, if they're gonna scuff up my grass, you know, tear it up in the spring or just throw a bunch of stone and everything else from the road in there for me to clean up when I didn't ask for it, I don't really like that. What do you guys think? driveway in the neighborhood before we head to the shop. Okay, we're at the shop. You know, I gotta say, there's a guy that the landlord here pays to plow the entire complex. And for some reason, every section of the parking lot is plowed, except for my area. What's that about? Just because I have all sorts of plows and pushers out there, he just thinks he can get off scot-free and I'm gonna take care of it? He's probably right. Well, I don't mind. We're gonna go ahead and tackle the plow now with the snow pusher. You know, I've got my tractor, the 4066, set up pretty darn well for pushing snow, for track. I got the Goodyear R14 tires all around, just got six wheel weights added on. I've got, I think it's about 1,200 pounds of liquid ballast as well, and then a ballast box full of weight also. So we've got all the traction we can possibly get. You know, the problem is, is I gotta pull all the snow and then push it up the hill. So that's the biggest challenge. I'd love to have a simple, flat piece of ground to work with instead of these hills constantly because pushing uphill is a real pain in the butt. We're gonna go ahead and pop off the forks really quick, put on the pusher, and get to work.
Well, that's a pretty good test for the HLA 2500 series 72 inch wide pusher on a 4R series tractor, okay? So you can kind of see, I think this is a pretty good size for it here. It doesn't matter if you have three inches or if you have 12 inches, right? Because eventually it's gonna fill up full of snow and so that's gonna be the, the max capacity that you have to kind of push. That's when it's gonna struggle is when it has uh, a full amount of snow. So if you can plow downhill, that's perfect, you know? Going uphill is just putting a lot more strain on the system, you know, plus the extra weight and the traction being slippery, everything else. So we don't have a choice. We gotta go all the way up front so you can kind of see how this performs. Keep in mind the 1800 series and the 1500 series, this back drag right here closes off the entire top. Once you get to the larger series of snow pushers, you are gonna have a gap. My thought behind that is that on the 2500 series, if this hunk of steel extended all the way back, it would just be extremely heavy and extremely expensive. So it's not a cheap piece of equipment to begin with. So I, I think that's probably the reason why you start to see a gap on the larger ones. Keep in mind though, this is still 12 or 13 inches tall, way wider or taller than most of the competition out there. So I prefer the tractor with the pusher. You know, part of that is gonna be more experience with this kind of a setup. I do feel it's the most efficient because in a hydrostatic machine, it's one pedal forward, one pedal reverse, very easy to work the loader joystick and manipulate that. You know, it's a lot of shifting on the gator. I still have to figure out that six way plow as well, although I do really like that. I can tell you either way, it's hard to beat a heated cab in the winter time. If you enjoyed this video, would you give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button right down below if you wanna see more cool tractor videos. And make sure you read through that description down below as well. We can help you out with a snow pusher or all sorts of cool tractor stuff. Thanks so much for stopping by. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.